Hi everyone, this is going to be a short video. I don't think it's very complicated. Basically, I'll just cover what I consider a virtue and vice to be. You can read it right here. So a virtue is a habit consistent with the rest of your life. It builds you up. So like obviously taking care of your body, like with a healthy diet and exercise is a virtue because having a healthy body is necessary for doing anything else. And uh, it would be more complicated to explain why these things are virtues, but uh, probably unless you're a very stubborn and backwards person, I don't need to convince you that there are virtues. Um, and obviously these are not complete lists. These are just some things that came to my mind when I was writing it down. And a vice is a habit inconsistent with the rest of your life. It wants to consume you and tear everything else in your life down. So like I use smoking a lot because it's a very tangible, obvious vice, although I'm not saying it's like the worst vice, but it's a very tangible and obvious one because it hurts your health and it hurts your financial situation and it's addicting. And gluttony, like obviously you need to eat, but if you uh, like eat fast food and cake every day, then you're going to get fat and that's bad for you. Lust, I don't think having sex with your wife or like having sex with someone you committed to and you love, I don't think that's a problem. But if you try to have sex with every pretty woman you see, that kind of becomes your life. It's not good and it's also not good for the people that you're using for your own pleasure. Obviously, if you aren't industrious, then you won't accomplish the things you want to accomplish in your life. Envy, I think, is ugly. I guess I'll talk about it when I talk about sin. So I think about a lot of Christian uh, beliefs in a very secular way. Uh, I consider sin in a secular sense to be when your stated values conflict with your real values. And of course, um, if you're Christian, then your stated values are God's values. So sin is when you do anything that God wouldn't want you to do. But I think outside of a specifically Christian context, you can still think of sin in this way. And I gave the example that maybe you say you care about other people and that's your most important value, but maybe in reality you love your ego more than other people. And therefore, like if you feel envious of someone, you might say something bad about that person, even if he actually hasn't done anything wrong, because it hurts your ego that someone is better than you. Uh, I can't think of anything else to say. I think that seems like pretty clear definitions of virtue, advice, and sin. They're very broad. I, I like these definitions because they're very broadly applicable, and it's not that hard to figure out when using these definitions of something as a virtue or a vice or sin or none of the above.